Brooklyn Independent Television. I've been following the solo records, okay. and I've been loving it. Shock City Maverick, yeah. which is a little old. Yeah, that was the last song. Uh, that was the last record I did for work. And then I put out an uh, independent one called Thorns. And then the next one is coming out in February okay. on the 15th. That's okay. called End It All. End It All. And yeah. Okay. So you go from Shock City Maverick to Thorns to end it to all. end it all. So what arc is that? Well, it's, honestly, uh, I don't know, dude. That's like <laughs> <laughs> well, Thorns. Thorns was dealing with a lot of things, you know, tumultuous in my life, and that's why I called it Thorns. And it's Thorns is the most like personal upfront album, and then end it all. You know, I was gonna stop doing this. You were gonna stop doing hip hop. I was gonna stop doing music. Period. For real. For real. I was thinking maybe you know get into something, try and do something else. Like what? Uh, that's the dilemma. I haven't thought about it. Anything that I've uh, wanted to do has always been like involved in music, even like different areas of like, maybe getting into like, you know, sound design for motion pictures and things like that. True, true, you know, true. Different, different avenues of the same thing, but not really necessarily like being a front and Bigger runner. Artists, I, I, I think that would be a big mistake. You think so? Absolutely. Yeah, well, it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, well, I, I already know. have the next one planned after End It All. So, so, so I guess so. End It All, <laughs> not so much. Not so much. No, the next one's gonna be called uh, Love Me Tonight. You're kidding. No, nah, not. Nah. You. So is it? So is this? Is this gonna be the tender, vulnerable side of Beans? No, nah, never. Not not in that not in that blatant of a way. It's just okay. I just really just like the title. You just like the title Love Me Tonight. I just like the title Love Me Tonight. And by love, you mean exactly what? Uh, with me, a lot, of, a lot of things stem with me from the title. So I'll have like a series of titles and then fit, exactly. fit it to the title. Okay. Yeah, I just that you. I just I have you. the title for it. You had a line in uh, Blind Driver, a walk a tightrope wearing two left shoes. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I find with your work is that there's so many words and I mean, your cadence is so precise, and the you know, and it's very erudite. But then you'll come out with a line, and it's funny because I'll be stuck on that line, <laughs> and I'll be missing the next six lines because I'm because I'm like stuck on, you know, I'm visualizing walking a tightrope with two left shoes, right? Which is you know, which yeah, is that's very, funny. Okay. But yo, know, how's everything being with living color? It's good. It's good. It has its ups and its downs. <laughs> You know, being in a band for a long time is a is a trip. It's a trip. You have your good days. You have your great days. You know, and you have your why am I doing this to myself days, and uh, why am I doing this to them days. You know, right. so so in, in, in so it's it's good. We just finished doing a tour uh, playing Jimi Hendrix music. We did a Experience Hendrix thing. But we're we're switching managers now. We're going through what are we what are we doing next? You know, our next record. What are we talking about? Where are we going? So we're in a transition. What would you like to do? You know, we're an American band that's engaged in a particular conversation. You know, because we're you know African American, black, Negro, fill in the blank, N word, whatever. And we're engaged in this conversation that's uh, I think you know unique among American bands. You know, because we play a kind of heavy music, but it's mixed with funk, it's mixed with jazz, it's, mixed, it's a conglomerate. Metal's in there, metal's a big part of it. But culturally, I, you know, and how we identify, we totally identify with blues and Ornette Coleman and James Brown, and that's where we're coming from. Whereas a lot of metal is coming from classical music. It's really coming from Wagner. And we're very much 
a part of, I mean, of the blues part, but we're also part of the, you know, I came from the avant-garde in terms of jazz and things like that. Right. So, and I, and I heard the track where you, you said, I'm the, I'm the Ornette Coleman of this nation. <laughs> and uh, I, I, would, I would absolutely agree. Thank you, sir. I would absolutely agree. I mean, you're, you're just, uh, um, I think you're an easily misunderstood kind of artist. And, um, and I, can, I can totally relate to it. You know, I can I'll totally relate to the odd man out. You know, there's certain things in hip hop that I would like to see. Like, for example, I would like to see shorter length of records, but longer songs stretching out. Interesting. Not necessarily being so, like, club orientated, but having, like, movements and changes and things like that. And, and having the, uh, the vocals become part of that strategically within those changes. And I think that, you know, that's, I think that's the type of things I would like to see anti-pop do, like, you know. And I think, I think we could, you know, do that. Yeah, so, you know, it's kind of like it's almost time for prog rap. Exactly. You know? I mean, exactly. I, I mean, there was a point at which when we were working together, <clears throat> we were right on the verge of, of kind of punk rap. Yeah. Your work is taking your, you've taken your own path, but that impulse to not follow convention, to actually have your own voice, whatever that means. I mean, I, I mean, I completely respect, recognize it. You know, I get it. You know, I mean, I feel like that's because you do the same. Yeah, and it's and when you when you when you take that on, you really kind of walk a lonely path. And we've been produced by a culture that's so rich but it's also incredibly conservative at its core. I agree. And that's one of the, the huge conundrums. Sometimes it's, it's, it's good for you not to get your way. I mean, there's a part of me that always, I always want my way because my way is best, but that's not really true. I have a song called, If I'm Wrong, Then Who's Right? <laughs> right, and, and that's, a, and, you know, and sometimes, I mean, it can be incredibly frustrating to have, you know, when you've had breakthroughs and it's like, why can't it always be like that all the time? What are you going to do? You can't end it all, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. I'm looking like I don't have much of a choice now. It's looking like I don't have much of a choice, really. That's the whole point. The fact that you don't have a choice is exactly why you can't stop. Follow us on Twitter at BK Independent TV.